After a massive wait in council, it has been over 12 months. We are finally set to start work on our latest project, Bay Builds. We've been inspired by Samsung's bespoke home concept, which really is a home that is tailored to the way you want to live, and more importantly, how you want to feel within your home. So in the past, we have always gone down the track of having integrated appliances in the kitchen. So the fridge and freezers hidden away behind cabinetry, it's a really nice flush look. But with the bespoke range, we are actually flipping that all on its head. This new Samsung bespoke range has been designed to help you express your personality through your appliances with customizable colors and flexible combinations. So our latest Bay Builds project is actually a duplex. It's a side-by-side -side development. We have the same layout, but we want to mix things up a little bit with the finishes. We want to make sure that we're showcasing two completely different looks and takes on the one kitchen. So we've jumped on the Bespoke Design Studio website and we've used these colours as a starting point for these kitchens. Now, the first step is to choose which model fridge that you'd like. And what's great about the Bespoke range is that it comes in a lot of different options. So we have our modular French door and the single door fridge and freezer, but you can add any of those combinations together. So at the moment, we're thinking that we'll go a modular French door plus an additional fridge unit on the side. There we go. I like that. that I just think cool. that's like the best combination for an entertainer. Then in the other kitchen, I think instead of doing the modular French door, mm -hmm. we do a modular single door fridge and freezer. That one? Yeah. We're really excited because we are seeing the bespoke fridge for the first time in the flesh. So I'm loving all the clean, minimalistic lines and the fact that you can personalise it with the different panels. For me, from a building point of view, I love the fact that this is a standalone option, but it appears though that it's integrated with these minimalistic lines and it's really refined look. Now to make sure that you achieve that look, once your kitchen design is confirmed and you've configured your appliances, remember to allow a 12 mil gap down the sides. The amazing thing about these fridges is they can grow over time with your family. So for example, when you have young kids and you only want one fridge, that suits well and then you can add over time. A good tip here is if you are thinking you will add another module over time is to design the fridge on the outskirts of the kitchen so you don't have to mess around with cabinetry. So this model here is the French door. So we've got the fridge option at the top and the freezer options down the bottom. And this section here also operates as a fridge too. So it's really customizable, especially the fact that you can interchange these door fronts to whatever color you like within the range. Next up, we're going to personalise our refrigerators by selecting our colours. There are seven colours and two types of finishes to work with. And for this kitchen, I'm thinking a combination of satin beige and satin sky blue. I think I'd like the tall single door if that was satin beige. Yeah, yeah that looks nice. That's the one. That's cool. Like and that. then I think styling wise, like we need to bring in this satin blue elsewhere. Yeah. This is the maximalist space. As you can see, there's lots of colour, there's lots of finishes going on. It's loud and proud and really vibrant. And it's a perfect example of choosing your appliances from the outset and using this as inspiration for the rest of your kitchen. And with colour in mind, our biggest piece of advice would be to have some fun. Jump online, play around with the configurator tool and find a combination that works for you. And remember, this is your opportunity to express yourself through an appliance that you use every single day.